Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, my brothers and sisters, good morning. So glad to have you with us today. We were having some technical difficulties, uh, but God has worked it out. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your endurance today. And maybe that was a test uh, to see if we were going to give up on this electronic equipment. But we kept on working through faith. And thank God now things are operating greatly. Thank you so much. And again, we apologize for the uh, technical difficulties. But praise still be to God for the great things he's doing. And thank you for joining us today on this part two of endurance. And again, we're so thankful for all of you uh, to be with us today, this morning. We want to say amen, happy, good morning to Trustee Bonner, uh, to Trustee Norris, good morning, God morning, to you, sir, uh, Miss Lula Watts, good morning, Vanessa Dawkins, good morning, Miss Lakeisha Logan, good morning, and thank you for all of your help uh, today, and, and, and uh, Deaconess Crumwell, and to our executive producer, thank you, uh, Miss JB, uh, Jackie Bridges. Good morning, Brother Wright. Uh, good morning, Miss uh, Janet and Miss Sharon, the praying woman leech. God bless you. Thank you so much. Did such a wonderful job on our, our homecoming this past Sunday. Good morning, Miss Holmes Arilla. Good morning, Miss Gloria Davis. Glad to have you with us, Miss Thomas, Miss Ernestine, Trustee Hui. Amen. We do also have on the here. Amen. I did see um, Denise Bridges. Good morning. To you and to Miss Tamika, good morning. And we're excited today. We're going to have a Holy Ghost good time as we study together. Uh, let's bow. Father, thank you again for allowing us to overcome these technical challenges this morning. Knowing, oh Father, maybe, oh God, uh, uh, that uh, something tried to hinder us. But thank God for, for long suffering and patience. Thank you, God, for working it out for our good. Be with us as we study about endurance. In Jesus' name we pray, let everybody say amen. Amen. And again, we thank you and call your neighbors and tell your friends uh, that Pastor Bridges is on again. Tell them that the, the Bible study bus is rolling. And again, we this is the Tuesday edition of the Wednesday Bible study. Amen. Thank you so much. And for all the young people out there who are watching today, uh, we thank you also for joining in with us today. Amen. Also at this time, amen, I want to say uh, good morning to Reverend Wittenberg and to Miss Mary Wittenberg and to Minister May Francis Surratt and Candace Mitchell. Good morning to you. Our first stop today, amen, will be in, in 2 Chronicles chapter 5. 2 Chronicles chapter 5, and I would like for you to turn down there to verse uh, um, 13, amen, as we look at this today. Um, looking into uh, the endurance, Amen. We said what endurance was 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 holding on, was enduring, Amen, uh, with patience and and not giving up easily. And 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 one thing we need to know, uh, first of all, uh, uh, that God uh, is always God, Amen. He, he created us, Amen. He, we He knows we depend on Him, so that uh, first. Uh, some of you missed last week. Please go back and and um, and, and study with that. But uh, moving forward, Amen. We we are going to pick up on number one, studying about God's endurance. Amen. Uh, what what wh why is that so important? It's so important because if we didn't have God, we wouldn't have anything. Yeah. If we didn't have God, Amen. We we would crumble. If we didn't have God, amen, we uh, would soon faint. If we didn't have God, we would soon give out, amen. And a lot of people would already have given up. But we have, must remember uh, that God, amen, endures. He, he endures. So if you will, Second Chronicles chapter 5, and we're going to look at verse 13. It's the verse we're going to look at first of all. And I want you all to read along with me. Good morning, Miss Marie McGill. Uh, good morning, Miss Annie Little John, all the way in Brooklyn by way of Gaffney. Thank you so much. Uh, again, Miss Deborah Jeffries and Trustee Bobby, God bless you. 
both and Latoya Denise. Glad to have you with us this morning also and Miss Mary Thomas. Amen. Amen. Let's read it together. Second, Amen, Chronicles. Amen. Uh, uh, chapter 5 and verse 13. Here we go. It came even to pass as the trumpeters and singers were as one to make one sound to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord. Amen. Amen. And then it said, and when they lifted up their voice with the trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music and praise the Lord. Amen. There's a lot, a lot of, a lot, a lot of things in there we need to do. Amen. Saying, now notice, this is what they were saying along with the music. Amen. They were saying, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever, that then the house was filled with a cloud, even the house of the Lord. Amen. If, if you have a highlighter, get it out. If you have a magic marker, get it out. Good morning, Reverend Ron Williams. Glad to have you with us also. If you have a crayon, you get it out. Amen. If you fold the corner of the page, whatever you do, please mark this verse. Because it talks about God's enduring, but it talks about us understanding and acknowledging that God endures. Oh, yes. Tap yourself on the shoulder. Tap yourself on the shoulder. This is our first shoulder tap today. Say, I must acknowledge that God endures. You, we have to acknowledge that. He said, in all thy ways, acknowledge me, and I will uh, direct thy path. So one thing, if we want to endure, we need to acknowledge that Christ and Jesus and God, uh, they, they endure. Amen? Because uh, uh, our hope is built on nothing less. Yeah? Huh? Our hope is built on nothing less. Set my hope. I can't sing like Brother David Crosby, but I'm trying my best. Is built on nothing less. See, them old folk know what they were singing about in them days. They couldn't count on even the government sometimes wouldn't even help them. Said my hope is built, built on nothing less. Listen to this. Than Jesus' blood. Oh, and right. It shouldn't see, <laughs> see, we, when we acknowledge that, that, that our faith and our life and our lifestyle uh, evolves around and revolves around Christ, I guarantee you, amen, God will, and I acknowledge you, amen. Let's see what happened in this verse. It came to pass, first of all, the trumpeters and the singers. Y'all see that? There was one. The musicians and the singers must be as one. The choir and the musicians, amen. The, 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 choir, uh, the musicians and the praise team. Who's ever singing, amen, it must not be a clash. <laughs> Sometimes, amen, uh, if you're not careful, amen, there'll be a clash between the singers and the music. But this verse tells us it has to be at one. And that's why rehearsal is so important. That's why, amen, uh, uh, knowing a musician or knowing a singer, amen, their strengths and their weaknesses, the knowing, amen, where they, how they like to move and sing and flow through the song, all of that is important, amen. And even, amen, uh, on the closeout of a sermon, amen, sometime if the musicians are not careful, they'll clash with the preacher. <laughs> yeah, it's not about clashing. It's about working together. Can somebody put that out there in the comments, working together? Good morning, Brother Study Fans. Glad to have you with us also this morning. Amen. And again, this is the Tuesday edition of the Wednesday Bible Study. Amen. Now, let's look at that second part there, Second Chronicles uh, chapter 5, verse 13. It said, were as one to make one sound to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord. Yeah, they were making a sound to be heard. They, they weren't making a sound to be aggravating. 
They, they, they wanted God to hear their praise. They, they wanted the worshipers around about them to hear their praise. Amen. I remember hearing people talk about in the old days they used to let the windows up. And, and the singing and the, and, and the voices would go out the window and you could hear it, amen, for a great distance. And now we have microphones and sometimes you can't even hear it in the, in, in the play. <laughs> huh? we, 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 we sing, we worship, we play, uh, we preach to be heard. God has to hear it, amen, and those around us has to hear it. Not overbearingly, but hear it. Amen. There's something about hearing because uh, my Bible said faith comes by hearing. Hmm? Hearing uh, is so important. It, 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 it activates faith. Hearing something activates faith. Now notice what it said. It said then they were making one sound to be heard praising and thanking the Lord. Amen. If you're taking notes, please take this note down. You have to praise and thank the Lord. When we praise and thank the Lord, God knows that we appreciate him. Amen. God, amen, and, and when, when he was in human form, in the form of Jesus Christ, amen, he experienced everything that we experience. Amen. Yet he was without sin. Amen. But I want you to know that God appreciates us, amen, thanking him and telling others about him. That's what proclaiming is. Pro proclaim means to, to say it out loud or to let it be known. Amen. Don't hide it. Don't disguise it. But you got to let it be known that, that, that we are thank God and we are praising God. Amen. Don't, don't, don't be ashamed of your praise. Huh? There's a song that came out a few years ago, maybe 10, 15, or 20 years ago. said, what if God is not happy with our praise? Huh? What if he's not happy with the things we say? Huh? That, 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 and the only way we can worship him is in spirit and in truth. God bless you. Now, notice what he said here. He said, now, and, and praise it. And when they lifted up their voice with the trumpets. So they were all doing it together. They lifted the trumpets, yes, the horns. Yeah, before James Brown and all of them guys had a horn section, they had it in the church. And don't you know that some people will get mad when, 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 when um, uh, instruments come in the church? It's all through the Old Testament. It's all through the Bible. Musical instruments. It, it's in there. Amen. It, it's, it's not the, the instruments. Amen. It's who you're praising with your instrument. <laughs> huh? Yeah. God, God loves praise and worship. Amen. And songs. He, he dwells that. Amen. Now notice what it said. And instruments of music and praise the, they praise the Lord. Amen. Make sure when you sing or when you do something, uh, uh, know why you're doing it and know what you're doing. Good Lord Almighty. I need somebody to put that out there in the comments. Know, 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 know why you're doing it and know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, we're praising God. Amen. Uh, uh, this, amen. Some people say I want a praise song or a worship song. Amen. A worship song is about God. A praise song is about God too. Amen? About uh, a worship is acknowledging him and, and appreciating him and the love. Amen? And then there are just some songs that are just that. They're songs. They're, 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 they're just songs. They're, they're not a praise song. They're not a worship song. It's just a song. Amen? So you have to use the right song at the right time. Can somebody put that out there? Good morning to you all. Good morning. Good morning. Linda Faylu, who is good morning. Amen. Miss Vanessa Jeffries and Miss Ernestine Norris, Lisa Petty from Marietta, Georgia. Chevette Garrett, my friend, is on the line. Teresa Kirby, glad to have you with us. Amen. Now notice again, it's so important, amen, that we know what we're singing about and who we're singing to. That's God. Amen. Now let's finish this last part of this verse. It says, notice what they were saying. They were saying something. In there, they, they said, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Yes. That then, somebody shout then. Y'all see then there? Can y'all put then out there in the comment? Then. See, when you get on one, play, one, one accord and in one place, things happen. When they did it in the New Testament, on one occasion, they was in the upper room. <laughs> huh? Uh, on the day of Pentecost. And, and, and they were there, amen, with one purpose. Amen. And one goal. 
Amen. And, and that's why it's so important. Amen. If you come to church, you know what you're coming for. When you do what you're going to do, it's take the benediction and go home. If it's a meeting, have a meeting and go home. If it's choir practice, practice and go home. <laughs> huh? If it's a, a church service, have church and go home. Amen. It's important that we stay focused on what we're meeting to do. Amen. Because if you're not careful, you'll ramble on. You'll ramble on. You'll ramble on and you'll lose your focus and you'll ramble on. And people say, man, after you preach and all, man, y'all get that. Yeah, the, the word's been given. It's on good saw. Let it sink in. It's time to go. Amen. Because if you're not careful, the enemy will come and try to steal your faith, what you just heard. Try to, try to, try to uh, uh, quench. Amen. Your meal. Try to make, amen, you not feel good while you, as you were feeling good during the singing and the preaching and the paying of your tithes. Amen. So that's why it's important when you do godly things, do it and finish. Amen. God bless you. I hope that's helping somebody there. Amen. Amen. And, and, and sometimes it takes longer than others. And, and sometimes it don't take all day. But, but God might say take all day. And sometimes he'll say, uh, I just want you here just for a little while. Amen. And that's why each worship service uh, sometime will, will be different. And that's what I love about it. And I say that a lot. Amen. That uh, It's going to be different today. Amen. It shouldn't be the same every time. Is every day in your life the same? Is every day on your job the same? Is every day at school the same? No. So therefore, worship should not be the same. God bless you. Y'all getting it out there, working together, working together, working together. Man, y'all have got it going on then. Yeah, then, then. Thank you so much. All the then. The then crowd out there. Amen. Now, notice what it said. When, when, when they was on one accord and they was praising God, then it said the house was filled with the cloud. Amen. That cloud symbolized the presence of, remember again, God is invisible. But the cloud gave them something visible to see that God was in their midst. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> it gave them that the church, the priests, amen, the worshipers, the musicians, it gave them, amen, a, a, a proof that uh, their praise was real and that God was happy with it. Because his mercy endured forever. We must remember that because I know myself, I mess, uh, mess up. I, may, I might say the wrong thing. Can I get a witness? I might think the wrong thing. And, and, and the Bible said that, that, that those who show mercy will receive mercy. Blessed are the merciful, for, shade, for they shall obtain mercy. Yeah, we got to be merciful. And, and, and because God is so merciful, he allows us to always uh, depend on him. And he endures uh, so that we can uh, count on God. Good Lord Almighty. Good morning, Tawan. Good morning, Vanessa Jeffrey. Well, y'all in the house today. Praise the Lord. God is good. Amen. Let's move on. We want to look at uh, something else. Amen. Now, let, let's go on down to 14, and then we're going to roll on. But we got to understand that God endures. His mercy endures. His mercy is, 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 is what keeps us here. Because if, if, if he wanted to, it, uh, it like it, it, when you sin, God could just take us out right there. But he said, no, if y'all ask for forgiveness and, and do better and try to do better and make this world a better place, I'll give you some mercy. I'm so glad for his mercy, huh? I'm so glad for his goodness. I'm so glad for forgiveness. For God so loved the world and gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. There's something about God. Amen. There's something about God. Good morning, Miss Henderson. Amen. Oh, at the doctor watching us. God bless you. Amen. Thank you so much. We will. Thank you so much for joining us. And happy birthday to famous. Amen. Now, here we go. Verse 14, everybody, I need everybody to read. Come on, Tamika. Read and let's read. So that the priest could not stand to minister by reason of the cloud. The presence of the Lord was so thick in there that, that, that when the music was playing and they were singing, amen, God was already working. Notice what it said. For the glory of the Lord had already filled the temple. And sometime in church, It'll get right before the preacher even preach. And, and when that happens, amen, I thank God that I understand that, that, that sometimes the music, 
and, and ministry and the songs and, and the congregation who's singing along and praising God, sometimes that's all God wants us to do that day. <laughs> huh? He don't want no, 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 he don't want a 45 minute sermon. He don't want a 30 minute sermon. Amen. He just wants us to exalt him. He just, sometimes he just wants us to, to praise him and thank him. And sometimes, amen, I've been uh, even done a five-minute or less sermon because the music and the atmosphere, worship was already taking place. And sometimes we hinder God's movement by going along with a printed program when the Spirit of God is leading us a different way. Amen. Amen. That's all I'm trying to say. We, we, uh, w when you pray and ask him to come, and then when he comes, and, and then you go by the program and close him back out. Huh? See, sometimes the things on the outline will not happen. <laughs> sometimes things on the outline will, and sometimes things will happen that's not on the outline. When the, when, when the presence of the Lord is here, <laughs> the presence of the Lord is here. Huh? I can feel him in the atmosphere. Huh? The presence of the Lord <laughs> is here. See, sometimes his presence will override what we thought. Amen. The choir was planning on singing one thing, but, but the atmosphere changed the song. And, but how many of you know that you shouldn't get mad uh, when you, the song you rehearsed is not sung? <laughs> huh? You should be glad because that lets you know that, that the minister of music or the choir director or the pastor who requests the song to be changed understand that the presence of the Lord is here. <laughs> and that's why we got to know that his mercy endures forever. His mercy endures forever. His mercy does endure forever. Amen and amen. We got to move on. Go to Second Chronicles. Amen. Chapter 7. We want to look at something there. Amen. This is so very important. We're going to look at a couple of verses here. And, and, and again, Chronicles uh, talks about the chronological order of the history of things that happen uh, through the Bible days, through many of the kings and leaders, their Israel's, their triumphs, and some of their struggles. And that's what we have in life. Sometime we're going to have some struggles. But we must know that his mercy endures forever. Huh? Oh, yeah, it does. It does. It endures forever. God bless you. Second Chronicles, come on, chapter 7. And this is a very familiar chapter. Amen. Very familiar chapter uh, uh, because of verse 14. Amen. Which says, that my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then, they go that then again. See, a lot of times things don't happen until we do our part. Then. <laughs> huh? And that's why we have to make sure that we are, uh, are totally committed to God and that we're doing all we can do, and then God will do his part. Huh? That's why you just don't want anybody, amen, uh, uh, singing or, or, or anybody playing because uh, it's, it's got to be real. Amen? It's got to be real. One, one of Miss Vernon, or Miss Earl's mother, amen, Miss Betty Vernon, one of her favorite songs, she's been known for singing this song for many decades. Whatever you do for the master, let it be real. Huh? Yeah. And when it's real, then something will happen. Huh? Let, let's sing that. Come on, y'all sing with me. Let it be real. Let it be real. Let it be real. Oh, let it be real. Oh, whatever you do for the master. Let it be real. Oh, let it be real. 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 If you're singing a prayer, let it be real. If you're ushering, let it be real. If you're cooking in the kitchen or preaching, whatever you do for the master. I love that part right there. Whatever you do. For the master, you gotta pay your tithes with a loving heart, with a with a giving spirit. Oh, whatever you do for the master, let it be real, huh? <laughs> you gotta let that thing be real, huh? 
You, you, you can't play with serving God. You cannot play with giving God your best. You cannot play, amen, with him. Now, did I say uh, that, 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 that Michael Bridges is perfect? No, I'm not perfect. Long way from it. But I try my best to be as close as I can to perfect, amen, but I'm not. But, but whatever I do for the master, <laughs> this Bible study, Whatever I do, amen, if I pray for somebody, if I, if I preach, if I sing, whatever it is, talk to a child, wave at a stranger. It, it's got to be real, huh? <laughs> huh? I see you, Miss Diane Norris. See you. Thank you for joining us today. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm excited. Are y'all excited about the power of God, about his enduring capabilities? Now, what we want to look at in 2 Chronicles chapter 7 is, before you get to 14, there's a whole lot of stuff that happened in here, amen, uh, 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 th th that happened. Number one, you look in verse 1, it said, now when Solomon had, named verse 1, amen, 2 Chronicles uh, chapter 7, if you look at verse 1, I just want you to look there, amen, it said there that, and now when Solomon had made an end of praying, he was praying. He was praying. Solomon prayed. He was a wise man. You can learn something from a wise man. Huh? He prayed. The Lord, Mr. Lawrence Jenkins, glad to have you with us. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless each of you. Now, notice what he said. He, he made an end of praying. The fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifices and the glory of the Lord filled the house. Yeah, you got, you got to pray. You got to pray. You just... Uh, anybody can pray, amen, but, 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 but when you pray, you got to have faith and believe your prayer when you pray, amen, J just not rambling words and, and rumbling through the dictionary, huh, just not rambling about uh, various things, but, but you pray with a purpose, amen, we talked about that earlier, uh, you can find that in the archives on the Bible study. Amen. Now, notice what it said. The priest could not enter into the, to the temple again uh, because of the sacrifice. Sometimes God's presence will just show up and fill the place. Amen. And when all the children of Israel came and saw what happened, amen, let's read verse 3 together. Let's read verse 3 because this is very important. Because this is not only individual worship, but this is corporate worship. This is uh, the sanctuary. This is uh, the church. Uh, the body of Christ, this are the members of the fellow believers, this are, are the we, or the us, amen, that we've been talking about these past few uh, Bible studies. Come on, I need everybody to read with me. Denise, I need you to read with me too, honey. I need you to read. Come on, verse 3, everybody. And when all the children of Israel saw how the fire came down, and the glory of the Lord upon the house. They bowed themselves with their faces to the ground. Huh? With their faces upon the pavement. With their faces upon, their faces were down. And praised the Lord saying, for he is good. And his mercy endureth forever. Huh? <laughs> See, when, when God does good things, we, we got to acknowledge he does it then. Huh? I've seen people in the store jump up and down and shout hallelujah or something. It's okay to do that. If, if that's where God is moving, move with him. Some people are so ashamed they won't say hallelujah. Amen. Or, or, or clap your hands. Or, no, but clap your hands, everybody. And everybody just clap your hands. Jesus Christ, he rose again. And can somebody say amen? Huh? <laughs> huh? We, 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 but uh, uh, the, the other genres of music got their clapping from the church. <laughs> huh? Even on the rap songs, they got the clap machine. <laughs> huh? It, it all come from the church. It all come from natural praise to God. The, the first instrument, I do believe, is the voice. Amen. But your body <laughs> is an instrument. Somebody said, if I had one hand, I couldn't clap. You can still make some sound. If you want to make some noise, you'll find a way to make some noise, some jaw for noise. Y did y'all just see what I did? I, I'm not going to do it no more. I'm not going to do it no more. You want to rewind and see it. Amen. But you cannot let anything, amen, stop you from giving God the praise. Huh? 
See, when you give God the praise, God comes. When I come by here alone, huh? he'll come. And, and, and when he comes, he just don't come to, 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 to do nothing. He comes, amen, to dwell, to strengthen, uh, empower, to heal, fix, to give insight. Amen. To help us. That's, that's why I know he endures. Amen. Because, amen, I get weak sometimes, but he endures. Huh? <laughs> we, 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 we got somebody to lean on. We can lean on him. Let's look at, let's look at this. Notice what they said. They said something good. They said, for the Lord is good. It's a whole lot of songs with, huh, with good in it. Amen. God is a good God. Worthy to be praised. Uh, hey, God is a good God. And he's worthy to be praised. See, we have to do that. They're not going to get that from an unbeliever. A believer has to say that. God is a good God. And he's worthy to be praised. I see you, Miss Posey. Thank you for joining us today. God is a good God. And he's worthy. And to be praised. I love that part when they say, He's good. Oh, He's good. He's good. Huh? See, that, that, that's how God gives His publicity through us. You, you, amen. You are an evangelist. Amen. Especially if you share in this Bible study and you share in the worship. We, that's, God gives His publicity through believers in Him through, who testify of His goodness. God bless you. Good morning, Mr. Lord Shippey. Glad to have you with us. Amen. Y'all, man, we're talking in here today. We're talking about knowing, amen, that God is there. Now, notice what I had. Let's read on to verse 4. We're going to go down to verse, around verse 6 or 7. But let's, let's read these part. Uh, because, see, most people, when they read this chapter, they go straight to, to verse 14. But before all of that stuff happened in verse 14, amen, it happened ever over here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come on, verse four, everybody. Verse four. Come on, Tamika. Come on, Miss Arilla. Come on, Quinzenia. Come on, Vanessa. Come on, Sheila. Come on, Miss Annie. Come on, uh, Trustee Bonner. Come on, Reverend Williams. I, I need all the men too. I need all of you. Come on, Reverend Dewey Wimber. I need all y'all reading too. I need everybody. Come on. Let's read this thing together. Verse 4, then the king and all the people offered sacrifices before the law. Huh. They just had sacrifice. The glory of the Lord filled the temple. And then they offered up more sacrifice of praise. <laughs> Amen. They kept on praising him. Good morning, Preston Lowry, my friend. God bless you, sir. Amen. It, 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 it said then they, they offered more up to the Lord. Let's go to verse 5. Come on. All right, Tamika. I got you. I see you, Tamika. Verse 5. It said, and King Solomon offered a sacrifice. Now, notice what this. Now, I want y'all to, this is what I want y'all to highlight right here. I want you to highlight this. I want you to highlight verse 5. 2 Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 5. Now, some people, when, when they get their weekly check or whatever it is, God requires 10%. That's all he has. You give me 10%. So let's let's just use we're gonna use a, a a basic figure. So if you make five hundred dollars a week, God, say at least give me fifty dollars and and offering at least maybe that'll probably put it to to sixty or seventy. So that's tithes and offering. That's a little bit over your offer. I offer your tithes. Now let's look what David gave on this one day. Now 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 now, now listen to me. Now what I'm telling you is let's look what David gave. Now we know how God used David. Amen. Amen. See, when you bless much, you, you, you should give much. You should, amen, whatever your tenth is, it don't matter as long as you do your tenth. But don't get mad at somebody else because they're giving the tenth. Amen. And, and don't look at the amount. Just look at the tenth. <laughs> See, that's what confused a lot of people. Don't look at the amount. Ain't, is God worth a, a dime out of every dollar you get? I, I just want to ask you a question. You can answer that if you want to out there. You don't have to. That's okay, too. But I just want to ask you still. I'm going to ask you one more time. Is God worth a dime out of every dollar you get? <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you another way. Is God worth a penny out of every dime you got? 
I just want to ask you that. You only you know the answer to that. Amen. 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 Now notice what it said here in verse four, five. It said, a King Solomon offered a sacrifice of 20 and 2,000 oxen. 22,000 oxen. 22,000. I didn't say 20 or two. 20. Don't you know how much he could have gotten by selling that? But no, 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 no. <laughs> he gave 22,000 oxen and 120,000 sheep. 120,000. I didn't say 100 sheep. I said 120,000. You see it straight out the Bible. So the king and all the people dedicated the house of God. Yeah. So in other words, they weren't, they weren't giving God a little bit. They was giving God this, their temple, whatever it was. They was giving it to God. Now let me tell them with you. If you keep it, you lose it. But if you give it, you receive. Amen. That, that, that's how God's giving goes. If you give it, he'll give to you. <laughs> if you keep it, you lose. Amen. So, so that's, that's the faith. That's the faith of giving. Now, let's move on because I'm trying to get to verse 6. <laughs> because, again, we're talking about this praise and we're talking about enduring. We're talking about serving God. And when you can tap on to giving, Oh, I guarantee you, your life will, will, will move from, from, from wherever level you are. It, 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 your, your life will uh, begin, to, you'll be able to see things better. And, and you'll be able to receive enough, your blessings that there won't be room enough to see it. That's what the Bible said, if you bring it to the Lord. Amen. This not was, that's not what this class is about, but, but, but this is what's in here. And they're about endurance. If you want to endure, you make sure you give God what he is that, that he requires of us. And he will give us the strength to endure. Amen. Come on, verse 6. It said, and the priests waited on their offices. The Levites also with instruments of music of the Lord, which David the king had made to praise the Lord because his mercy endured forever. When David, by their ministry, praised by David, even the king was praising the Lord. Amen. Every once in a while, amen, uh, uh, the, 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 whoever it is, the, the leader uh, or the, the president or the pastor, uh, somebody, uh, every once in a while, you ought to show some signs of the Holy Ghost in your life. <laughs> huh? It, 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 it bothered me if I didn't watch somebody 10, 15 years and they never got happy. <laughs> huh? It bothered me if, 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 if they've been serving God for a long time and don't never say hallelujah or something. It bothered me if a person say they love God and don't never pay their tithe. Some, something wrong somewhere. Something wrong somewhere. Something wrong somewhere. Amen. I see some witnesses out there. But we're talking serious today. We're talking about moving to a new level. Amen. Of endurance. And then it said, And the priests sounded the trumpets before them, and all Israel stood. All of them were standing together. Amen. Sometimes the pastor say, can everyone please stand? Some people say, okay, miss out on your blessing. I'm not going to come twist your arm. I'm not going to send no deacons back there to, uh, to pull you up. I'm not going to do that. You got to want to serve with the group. You got to want to be a part of some of the group activity. Now, sometimes when the choir is singing, and, and people just standing up randomly. Uh, that, that's freely worshiping. But sometimes there is a command to stand to, for the prayer or for the scripture. Or please stand if you're not affiliated with the family. Even at a funeral to show your respect that you're not a uh, part of the family. Uh, and, 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 and no, you're not nowhere in near no family, no kind of way, but still won't stand. Huh? I come to tell you that. Uh, that, 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 that that's power in obedience. <laughs> huh? There's power in following direction. There's power mm, in following the law. <laughs> we got to move on today. Go to Psalm 7. We got to get out of here. Man, we're having a good time. We had a little technical delay at the beginning. But God knows. Amen. We're enjoying this Bible study today. Talking about endurance. Endure. Uh... As a good soldier, you got to hold on. 
God, God, God. We have to depend on God. We have to know we can depend on God. If you know you can depend, I know you can make it if you know God's going to be there. I know, I know you will. He'll be there. Psalm, the ninth Psalm, Psalm 9. Amen. Psalm 9 is just after 8 and just before 10. Huh? <laughs> That's where you'll find almost in the middle of your Bible. The Psalms are almost right there in the middle. Amen. We want to look at Psalm 9. We want to look at a couple more things before we move on to uh, another area. Uh, but we, we got to talk about endurance. Amen. <laughs> endurance. Yes, power in the blood. I like that, Brother Preston. Yes, it's in the blood. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, how precious is that flow huh, that makes me white as snow. Mm -hmm. No other fount I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. <laughs> It'll cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Yes, it will. I see you, Miss Elizabeth Roth. God bless you and Brother James. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Psalm 9, that's what we want to talk about. Man, this is a good psalm here. Now, Psalm 9, mine says, To the chief musician upon Mulaban, a man of Psalm of David. I, I want you to look at Psalm 9. I want you to look at verse 1. And I want us to read it together. I want us. Let's read it together. And when they say let's read it together, don't be in a speed reading context with the pastor. <laughs> We know you know those words, but I said let's read it together. Huh? All right, then. I'm just trying to talk. Just a little bit about some things we have experienced. God bless you, Miss Tabitha Littlejohn. Glad to have you with us also today. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. Now notice verse 1. I, I need everybody to read Psalm 9, verse 1. Amen. Read the whole verse. Come on, let's read it together. I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will show forth all thy marvelous works. Yeah. See, when you're, that, 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 that tells us what praise is. Praise is raising uh, the knowledge of God, to, not only to him, but, he, he, but also to, to others around so they'll know who we're talking about. Notice what it said. What's the first two words? I mean, I'm looking for them out there on YouTube. And Facebook, I'm looking for, what's the first two words in verse 1? Hmm? When, 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 when you get them, I, I want you to write them down. I want you to put them on the screen. Everybody that can put them on the screen, put them on the screen. Huh? If you can put them first two words, I think I, sometimes I have a little delay on this side. But if you can put those first two words up there on the screen. The first two words in verse 1. I'm looking. I will. There you go. I will. Now notice when you look at the I will. Mm -hmm. Y'all see that? The first two words are all capital letters in my Bible. I have a King James Version. And again, I don't know what version you have, but it's important, I do believe, to study from the King James Version because when it was translated to English, uh, this was the first one that was translated. Now, there's other Bibles that have come, and, and some people like the new versions of Bibles, but it, it, it says about what it says, but it says things a different way. <laughs> huh? If God says say it a different way, he, 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 I don't think he wants us to say everything a different way. So make sure uh, that the Bibles you get are close, amen, uh, in, in wording to the King James Version, because uh, some of them words change the phrase, of what God said, amen, it, 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 they move in uh, smoothly and, 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 and so uh, um, quietly that a lot of the, the verses that use a different language change the meaning of what God intended. <laughs> huh? you, I, I'm just telling you how, what it is, but, but you can read what you want to read. But give me a King James Version or a New King James Version. But 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 the mother versions sometimes throw people off track. God don't want the Bible to throw you off track. 
Amen. He wants the Bible to keep us on track. So be careful of all of these different Bibles out there. Amen. Now, mine has both of them letters capitalized. Both of them capitalized. You see that? And that's why you got to make it personal. He said, I will. I will. I will. It's personal. Now, if you say, I will as an individual, yes. Make sure you live up to that as an individual. But also, I will, when you become a member of a church, you got all rights and privilege of a member of that church. A, re a member has responsibility to pray, to praise, to support, amen, financially, amen, and time, and talent, and tithes, amen. Uh, when you say, I will to the Lord, or when you say, I will to a group, amen, it's a very serious thing for a believer. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Oh, that's why this thing is so important. Amen. Amen. Uh, the NIV, uh, I got that question. Now, now, the, the, the way I go to John 3, 16, in the King James Version, and any other Bible you want to, you want thinking about getting, compare those two verses. Lots of times you, you compare verses, and, 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 and a lot of them change the meaning through the words they use. So uh, uh, all, uh, it may be a good version, I, I'm not sure. But that, that's what the reader, it's up to the individual reader. But as for me and, and myself and I, amen, I, I tried to stick to the purest form of it. It's about like medicine, amen. If, if you want, the, 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 the best medicine is a full dose, amen. So I don't want a diluted medis medication, amen. And, and with changing these words, a lot of time it dilutes your Bible. Amen. So you got to be careful on that. A lot of people do it. That, that's all right with them. Amen. But even when they say the Lord is my shepherd, if the Lord is my leader, anybody can be your leader. That's the difference between a leader and a shepherd. So it changes the meaning of what, what, what the Bible is saying. And, uh, and it throws uh, a lot of uh, people who want to learn about God. It even confuses them more. So again, I do believe the most potent way is, 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 to, is to, to, to be as basic as you can, amen, and not just to say I got these 10 different kinds of Bible, that, that's all right too, amen, but, 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 the, but the ones in, 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 in the King James work, the one that Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. used, it worked for me, y'all got me, <laughs> I'm the one they translated over, amen, when they switched it to English, when they had the Hebrew scholars and all of them there, the language translators translated it the best they could to the most accuracy, uh, a pinpoint of understanding. And, and But now people, a lot of the publicists just want to sell Bibles. They, they're not really caring about the content. They just want to sell Bibles because that is still the biggest selling book. Uh, and every year, uh, the, the Bibles are the biggest seller book. Amen. We don't hear about that, but it is. <laughs> Thank you. Now, notice what it said in verse 1. It said, I will praise thee, O Lord. O Lord, I praise you. That remind me. We praise thee, O Lord. We praise thee. Yeah. I'm thinking about that song. Everybody, clap your hands. Everybody, clap your hands. Huh? Yeah, you got to give God all your heart. And people say, man, y'all ever, ever heard somebody sing or saw somebody sing and they put their all in it? Amen. They sing, someone with their eyes open, someone with their eyes closed. They get into their singing. They get into their music. They get into their preaching. They get into their worship. You got to, get, you got to put yourself in it if you're giving it to God. Amen. And some people say it don't take all of that, but you you don't know what they've been through. Huh? It, 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 man, you preach hard every time. And yes, I do, and I'm going to try to. Because it might, I don't know when it's going to be my last time. <laughs> huh? It may not be a next time. That, that, that God might come through the clouds and, and take all his believers home. So everything you do, you got to let it be real and do the best you can. God bless you. We got to move on. Notice in verse 1, what? what the key in praising God is that last part. I will show forth all thy marvelous works. It's talking about the works he's done. It's talking about the works he's done in, in our lives. Huh? It's talking about his, 
the works he's done. Huh? Yeah. Praise. Amen. And, and praise. Now, no, come on, verse 2. We got to get out of here. Man, time ticking. Amen. It said, I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I'm going to be glad and rejoice. You can't praise God mad at somebody. <laughs> you can't praise God mad at the person standing beside you because they stepped on your pocketbook strap. You can't praise God mad because, amen, uh, uh, you didn't get there in time and now they done put you on the third row. Huh? You, you, you can't be mad when you're trying to praise God. Your heart has to be ready to serve him so you can give him your best. You, you can't serve him with a grudging attitude. Huh? He said, I will be glad. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm glad about this opportunity. Huh? And I found out when things are going rough in your life, or things are going tough in your life, you get to the church house with a glad heart and give God some praise. And God, if you give God a glad praise, he'll take care of that bad problem. <laughs> yeah, you got to find a way to get to your praise. You got to find a way to get in the right frame of mind. You got to find a way. Good afternoon, Miss Daniel Neal. Dan Danielle Neal, God bless you. Glad to have you with us also in from New York. Thank you. We got New York in the house this morning. Amen. And so we have to do that. Now notice what it said. Verse 2. It said, I will sing praise to thy name, O most thou most high. I'm singing it to you. Amen. Now, 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 some people may have a request, but you're not singing it to the person who gave you the request. You're singing the song to God. But they in the atmosphere, they they they're in your environment. They hear you. But 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 we don't sing to people. We sing to God. But it uplifts people. <laughs> so you got to know who you're singing to, huh? Yeah, we 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 sing to God. But those in the area hear it and enjoy it and are blessed by it. But but the singing, Amen. And sometimes it's to encourage people. But the praise and worship songs are all about God. Oh, we talking in here this morning. Now, notice what it says, verse 3. I, I love this part. I hope this happens to somebody. Amen. Notice what it says. It said, when mine enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at thy presence. You don't have to bother them people if you've given God the glory. God will take care of your enemies if you've put your focus on God. God wants your attention. Amen. Don't you know that some people spend 24, 7, uh, seven days a week, uh, 365 days a year, uh, 366 on a leap year, uh, worried about enemies and people that don't like them? Why do you waste your time on that? Put your time on God. Put your time on something meaningful. God bless you. Oh, this is serious. Verse 4, we almost to where we need to get to. Amen. It says, for thou hast maintained my right and my cause. Thou saddest in the throne uh, uh, judging right. See, God's going to always be God. That's why we can depend on him. That's why we can depend on him. That's why you don't have to worry about people undercutting you. And do no, God takes care of all of that stuff. Don't, don't worry about that. Don't worry about little uh, uh, threats. and things. No, God... God has to handle that. We don't know what they're trying to plot and plan against us. Let God be God. Amen. And let us be his people. Let us worship and thank him and tell of his marvelous works. Amen. Because his mercy endured forever. We got to know we can count on him. But we must, amen, in the midst of counting on him, must appreciate God. Verse 5. Come on. It said, Thou hast rebuked the heathen. Thou hast destroyed the wicked. Thou hast put out their name forever and ever. In other words, if God's going to handle people that, 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 that try to rise up against me, I know that that's a, that's a reason to praise God right there. <laughs> yeah, not that you don't want him to, to, to destroy anybody, but, but I want him to protect me from them. That's a good reason to praise God right there. 
<laughs> Amen. Another reason is just because he's God. Another reason is because he 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 washes us from our sin. Another reason is because, amen, he owns the cattle on the top. Hey, another reason is because he gives us air to breathe. Another reason is because you got clothes on your back and food. Another reason is that the, the family circle still together. Another reason is that he still loves you. He loves you. I love you. And because of that, that's enough reason to praise God. So this verse tells us that not only do we praise God in his presence will come today, but also if we praise God, he'll take care of our enemy, the wicked and the heathen. <laughs> yeah? The heathen is somebody that don't want to know God, but they always talk about people who do know God. Y'all don't know any of them, do you? <laughs> huh? <laughs> they get mad at us for, for serving God, but... But, but don't want to serve him himself. Try, trying to turn us around, but, but we're trying to turn them around. And, but if we praise God, God sometime will work on them. He'll work on them. I know he will. We got verse 6 and verse 7, and we're going home. Amen. And, oh, thou enemy, destructions are come to a perpetual end, and thou hast destroyed cities, their memorial is perished with them. So you don't have to worry about that. That's what I love about God. Amen. I'm reminded of an old song my uncle used to sing. He said, he said, if I, if I, if I live, is right. Oh, God said, he said, if I, if I, if I love, love right. Oh, God said, he said, if I, if I, if I love, love right, oh, he'll make my, make my enemies, enemies, oh, leave me alone. <laughs> if you just do what you're supposed to do for God, you, know, you you can smile when you walk around people that you know don't like you because God got them. You don't have to worry about them, folks. You can give God what he what He deserves. Amen? <laughs> God will take care of the rest. Believe that. Believe that. Mm -hmm. And verse 7, and we're going home. Verse 7. Notice what it said there, verse 7 here. It said, but the Lord shall endure forever. There it is. We got to know that. And because he endures forever, we're we going to be all right. God, we're going to be all right. He's going to be always be. For he hath prepared his throne for judgment. Yeah, so don't worry about it. He's going to take care of you. God bless you. I love you. And I pray that God will continue to uh, strengthen you and your family. I want to thank our technical technicians today. Who has helped make this worship possible? Thank you again, Miss Logan and Miss Crumwell, and also Miss Jackie B. Thank you so much for all you've done to make this Bible study a success. We ask your prayers for Brother Deacon Charles Montgomery. Received information at 12 o'clock he was going into heart surgery, so we're praying that hopefully they've already done and he's already uh, been blessed uh, by surgery. We're praying much for, there's a couple of, uh, that are recovering from outpatient procedures on last week. I'm praying for you, amen, that God will take away your pain and that he will restore you to full capacity once again. Also, we ask your prayers for the bereaved family. There are many bereaved families amongst us uh, to uh, the family of Miss Shirley uh, 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 Cummings. Miss Cummings, no, Miss Christine Cummings. Christine Cummings, her funeral was, on yesterday down in Florida, Baldwin, Florida, uh, the daughter of Miss Eula Mae Thomas, sister of Deaconess Mae Smith, and Miss Ann Palmer. Uh, we're, we're praying much for the entire family. Also, we're praying uh, continue for the Preston Ross family. Again, may God continue to strengthen each of you. Uh, we love you so much. Good morning, Miss Marcella. Glad to have you with us, Brother Terry Gregory. Bless you. Amen. Also, we're praying much for... Uh, again, the, the uh, Reggie Ross family, uh, Miss service was also held on last week. And again, to 
uh, this week, uh, on today at, at 3 p.m. in Greer, South Carolina. Uh, we will be with Dr. Danny Burnside and his wonderful family. Uh, his son, uh, home going is held today. Amen. DJ uh, uh, Danny Burnside Jr. Uh, we're praying for you, Dr. Burnside, for your family, for uh, the uh, Philadelphia Baptist Church and all his wonderful friends. Uh, we're praying much for you. Also, we extend our condolences to uh, the uh, family of Miss Evelyn Smith. Uh, just a few weeks ago, her brother was funeralized, Brother Lehman. And this week on Saturday uh, at 12 noon at the Concord Baptist Church, uh, we will have services for Miss uh, Evelyn uh, Ellis Smith. To the entire family, to the children, uh, we love you. Uh, to the brothers and sisters and nephews, cousins, uh, nieces, all, we're praying for you. Amen. Again, also to the family of Josh Petty, again, one of the great musicians in our region. Uh, we are going to miss him, uh, but I pray that he's already, amen, in the, in the clouds with the choir, amen, playing those instruments, uh, making a good joyful noise to the Lord. Uh, we pray that God will strengthen you. Let's bow our heads. Father, we thank you for our Bible study today. We thank you for our time together. We thank you, God, for the seriousness of this study. And pray, O oh God, that it will strengthen your people to be about your business before it's everlasting too late. God, help us to endure, knowing that you always be there, uh, that you want us to praise you. You want us to talk about your marvelous works. You want us, God, to use instruments. You want us to use our voices. Uh, to lift up your name, to tell them about you. And God, I pray that you continue to do that. God, I pray right now in case somebody needs a little more courage. God, give them that courage to witness. And God, in case somebody used to be ashamed, we are praying today they will no longer be ashamed to, to, to testify, to rejoice, uh, to do a holy dance. God, to wave the hand, whatever it is uh, they're doing for you, let it be real. God, they're doing it, God, for the, out of the love of their heart for you. Don't let them be ashamed. There's no shame in God. Again, we thank you. We love you. Bless every family. God bless the sick, the shut in. God bless me. I need you to touch my body. God, do it for me. I know you will. I'm your servant. I'm asking you. Uh, by faith, God, needing you. To not only me, but all my brothers and sisters who are with us today on this Bible study. Help them where they need you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Huh? All right. I love you. May God bless you all. And again, may for God forever. Amen. Uh, uh, keep you and your family as we move through this week. And thank you again for joining us today, Tuesday, for the Wednesday Bible study. Again, we love you. Keep us in your prayers. Tell your neighbors and friends. And they can go to the website and um, they can click on uh, virtual worship, and they can catch this Bible study tomorrow uh, whenever they feel need. I love you. God bless you. Keep God first. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. God bless you.